right? So the Grammys were on, was it last night or something, right? On Sunday in the in in the US, and it seems like everyone's freaking out um about the Grammys. Um, this particular tweet that I kind of um retweeted on my Twitter is a good example of it, right? I'm gonna quickly get it up here for you guys to see. So um. People are overreacting about the Grammys as as it all as it always happens, right? Every year it seems like people seem to get more and more surprised that an award show that's generally slanted towards the kind of you know appeasing record labels and and kind of influencing the general public's perception of certain artists and um, whatever it may be, or kind of you know working as a kind of weird corporate payola thing, has always kind of missed the beat, right? They always kind of you know they never lose me on top of what's currently happening in the culture and most award shows aren't right the only award show i can think of the top of my head that kind of gets it right is maybe i'd say the turner prize for the most part right i i don't you don't really hear that much outrage of who wins a turner prize usually they kind of get the finalists pretty well the co- turner prize is a contemporary art prize um they usually get the finalists down pretty well the person that won usually has a compelling story that justifies their win or that you know there's usually the critics within the art community are kind of you know favorable to whoever wins for the most part you don't need to get that controversy you get the grammys controversy there's a controversy with the grammys every single year it never ends and this year has been no different because of course uh drake won best rap uh song of the year over daytona or what is it yeah rap, best, best best rap song um over Pusha t cardi b but one best rap song best rap album sorry with uh album bird at yellow um again over some other notable names and i think a lot of people out there kind of were upset that mac miller didn't win because um he passed away unfortunately last year and, were, and his album was kind of you know really highly regarded amongst a lot of fans but this sort of twitter kind of um, response kind of encapsulates what's everyone's annoyance about the whole grammys which i kind of want to speak about and if you kind of do a bit of a dive in on what um everyone else has been saying so um this reply I've, I've currently shared on my twitter which i found randomly through the trending page um this lady is texting her one of her friends and she screen captured it it says the following this kind of maybe um encapsulates everyone's kind of frustration into one uh text message phrase it says the following uh carly b won best rap album over mac miller Pusha t travis scott and nipsey hustle god's plan won best rap song over king is dead what all of it awful the performances were great, but a lot of the winners just didn't make sense when you look at their contenders. The Grammys are a joke, but that's the problem. They've always been a joke. Award shows by their very nature have always been a joke, especially when the uh, judging committee or awards committee are always kind of politically inclined, right? There is a kind of feeling or sentiment, especially around hip hop, that there was a lack of respect shown to the Grammys in the genre, especially over the years when um, hip hop has kind of slowly but surely taken over the world and it's now become the number one most listened genre in the world. Something that a lot of people already knew, but now, you know, the numbers don't lie with the amount of streaming numbers that some of these big artists get on Spotify or on middle streaming platforms. There's no denying their influence and from the genre of, and from other genres, you can see the influence of hip hop kind of raining through from the way people dress or the way the music sounds everything kind of has a bit of a hip-hop tinge to it anyway it continues i'm so so disappointed that mac miller got snubbed i'm not um i understand the sentiment because he passed away tragically but i don't necessarily think you should be get give you should be given an award just because you passed away you may have a great album i think the album should be given to you on the strength of the great work that you did i don't think we should be uh turning the uh award shows into into compassionate award shows if anything maybe there should be a category in award shows that allows people that passed away that did release a good album however sadistic that may sound right because you're anticipating someone dying in the year of the uh, of the uh, of the award show but i think maybe there should be some sort some kind of you know um contingency plan put in place where you have a category for someone that passed away recently and drops a good album so you can maybe um honor them in that category but to suggest that someone should just win off the basis that they passed away number one is a bit dicey for me i'm not i'm not really sure on that one even though i was a big fan of swimming and i thought that was one of Mac Miller's best albums i just don't think that's a great way to honor him by giving him uh an award an award just because he passed away i don't think that's very i don't know i think it's just dicey um they flew out his parents to be at the ceremony for the award to go to someone else and for him to get two seconds of, of memorial um, they have a memorial section of the show, which is always a bit sad anyway, because it kind of commemorates everyone that passed away in, a, in that year um, uh, that's involved in the music industry. Um, but in general, that's the thing about war shows that I've never really understood, right? 
with the Grammys. They always, they always kind of. I don't, I don't get this whole thing that artists have where, oh, they flew me out. Why didn't I win? It's just very strange. It's like, um, you get flown out to those kind of things, or you get, or you go to those kind of places anyway because you want to celebrate the works of your peers and everyone and enjoy this kind of huge gala night. It doesn't necessarily mean everyone. By that very same reasoning, everyone that's in the audience should expect to win, right? It's just a bit weird. Like, I don't understand why people think that's a thing. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe their publicists or whoever the artist may be. Forget the uh, Matt Miller's parents in that regard, because maybe that was a bit insensitive in that way. Um, maybe there should have been an award given just to acknowledge that them being there or them or an opportunity for the parents to get on stage and just to honour their, their, their son, um, who's also an influential artist. That might have been something cool. But I think in general, um, it would. I don't understand the sentiment that you should when you get flown out. You should. It's, it's like a indicator you're going to win. Maybe it's something that they did in the, in the past, and they've kind of used that um, illusion and kind of you know rid it to uh, to the ground to the cows came home and kind of give this false impression that everyone that gets um, an invite, everyone that gets told to specifically come and gets begged and pleaded to come, that they're going to win. But I just think that's weird i'm not sure how that's exactly going to work because by that nature you'd have to give everyone an award right and that's not necessarily what exactly happens but anyway um that's a slap in the face and he he deserved uh, he deserved that grammy deserved because he did a good album yeah deserved because his, his parents got flew out probably not um and it continues i think it's the last one um uh, no no it doesn't actually um every single person um she was oh it's against cardi b right uh, every single person cardi b was against is actually good rappers right and again, the Grammys isn't about how technically good you are. I think people need to always kind of, you know, err on the side of caution when you're talking about technicality and rap, right? The Grammys are a personification of what the general public thinks, right? That's what they are, represent, right? A gala event for the general public. It's not necessarily a gala, a, a, an event. I don't know. It's not necessarily an event based on skill and technique. It's more so just like, you know, who's the biggest person that we can give this award to? Um and essentially, you know, Cardi B maybe is the most famous rapper, right? Would you say that? Is she more famous than Drake now? Or would you say maybe slightly, maybe not? I'm not too sure. But, you know, general public way, you know, probably more women care about Cardi B than they do about Drake. So maybe women's buying power outweighs uh, men's buying power. I don't know. Um, it continues. Mac, Pusha T, Nipsey Hussle, and the hell, even even though I don't think Travis is a perfect rapper, Asher World is still worthy of a Grammy. Um, it's interesting they say Nipsey Hussle because I think he did one. He released one of the best albums of 2018, but that came out at the beginning of the year, and I don't, I didn't really hear that many people talk about it again. And you know, people's attention span isn't what it wasn't what people think it is. I don't think people even remember what the opening track on Nipsey Hussle's album was for the most part, and even though it was one of the better albums that came out. Um, again, um, so it's bullshit um, when Cardi B has one consistent flow versus actual talented rappers. Again, it's not a technicality thing. It's not a technical skill thing, I don't think. Um, I mean, anyone who listens to rap further than top 10, 100 vouch for this, Cardi B might be somewhat how... Cardi, Cardi might somehow get critical and press, and press praise, but she's not a good rapper. She doesn't even write her own bars. She's consistently problematic, not to mention everyone else in that category in some way or another has transformed the rap genre and have raw talent raw and alterated talent that landed him in the nominee spots it's fuck it it's fucked that somehow cardi b got the win again i'm not i am not i don't know what this shock and awe is that cardi b won the rap album i would assume that would have happened she had an incredible year it really is a freaky story that she somehow was able to kind of leave behind the stripping world enter into reality tv not look like an idiot on there because it's very easy to because a lot of people do and then suddenly um take that fame and then become everyone's favorite kind of ratchet um, hip hop star, right? Like she, um, her her kind of audience base or people that are fans of her, like they it spans across you know various backgrounds, socioeconomic, race, whatever. She 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 has no color, right? She essentially has become um, a global pop star by acting exactly as she would do with her friends in her area, right? She hasn't changed one bit, if anything. If anything, she's been an antidote to the kind of, you know, beige, uh, robotic, um, same old, same old celebrities that we see on TV. She is, for the, for the most part, a real human being that happens to be a celebrity. And people have responded to that really well. And she made a great album. Um, I think people were surprised the album was that good. I think people thought the album would be quite shit. I was one of them. I thought it would be horrible. But it's a really good album. It's really concise. Um, it's it's short. 
It plays really well from top to bottom. It's a good album. And she's gone from strength to strength, right? And I, so I'm not that surprised she won Best Rap Album. I don't think it's that far-fetched to win it. Um, any of those nominees, right? I don't think it's that crazy. Um, if anything, overall, I think over the years, Grammys probably hasn't done a good job of, you know, honouring those that need to be honoured at a the time they need to be honoured. And it might need to be another conversation about how artists then go, what's the best way forward, right? Because we've seen a kind of reaction to it with all the bigger stars like Jay-Z and all the likes of it not going to the Grammys, right? They do their pre-Grammy Rock Nation thing where they kind of use that as an opportunity to kind of, you know, hey, we're all going to get dressed up to go this weekend anyway. Let's not let's not, not get dressed up. Let's do this thing, but do it our way and celebrate each other. That's cool. That's all, all, all fine and dandy. But I don't think... I think there's something, there needs to be another option, right, for them to be able to celebrate each other. Because I get it. I'm not one for awards. I don't really think it should matter. But I understand some people do, right? And maybe an award is your only way to kind of, I don't know, put yourself into the history books, maybe, I think. So for some for some artists, they feel that's a thing, right? They want to be remembered as the greats. And, you know, maybe growing up, seeing some of the great people that won oh, Grammys as an artist, you want to also emulate those things and try and surpass it if you can. So there is a portion of people that do it really think awards are a big part of the industry or a big part of their artistic journey so there needs to be a, a resolution for that right a resolution, um, something to resolve that what can we do how can we present this how can we get our voices heard because i think now the grammys aren't a great platform for it we see what's happened with ariana grande she had a big spat with the one of the people that organizes the grammys right i forgot his name where they were kind of going back and forth about whether or not she was going to perform. She wanted her to perform a certain song. They wanted to do other songs, blah, blah, blah. So we see that the Grammys don't really discriminate. They seem a bit stuck in their ways and a little bit um, rigid, right, um, to everyone. Everyone gets that same treatment, right? We know hip-hop, for instance, were perturbed. They were kind of outraged when Macklemore won the album, uh, best album of uh, um, Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid, Mad City, right? But this has been happening for years, right? Beck still wins albums, Grammys now. I'm a big Beck fan, but does he really deserve to win albums? Like year in, every year he drops something, he wins something. I don't think so. So some 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 Beck fans would argue his stuff recently hasn't been as good as some of the older stuff that he never won a Grammy for. But you know there is this weird thing that happens. These certain people kind of certainly always kind of get um, awarded um, awards and whatever it may be, and there are obvious favorites that they kind of lean towards. I get it. But I don't think you can change that institution. There's too much money in it. There's too many people that depend on the salary. There's too many people that play that political game. So I don't think by and large it will change. I think what will happen is that they'll have to create something else, right? The, the other artists involved. Or they'll have to champion something else, right? That lends itself to the idea that a lot of these artists who kind of beg and plead and will dance for the man when it comes to the Grammys won't necessarily attend the BET Awards, right? Uh, because that's seen as a bit more ratchet or whatever, or that seemed to only appeal to us a niche, right? And not appeal to the general public. But I think there needs to be an answer in the middle, right? It doesn't necessarily mean everyone has to kind of overly attend the BET Awards. It means there has to be a, something else they have to do. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure whether or not it's the artists coming together and creating their own uh, thing and making their own idea and collaborating, you know, whether it's a thing of like they all kind of purposely strike and do not attend the Grammys at all, not even performing on stage like Travis did, whatever it may be, or other people. I don't know what the solution is, but something needs to happen that, to change that. But I think every year it's getting surprised and getting angry that the Grammys didn't um, give your favorite rapper the, a Grammy for an album that you and your friends thought were amazing. But, you know, maybe the general public that drives to work every day and listens to Hot 97 didn't. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's never going to change, man. These award shows aren't really set up to honor the artistic talents of those that kind of influence culture for the most part if anything they're just you know a way to commemorate those people that are on the charts the people that made the most moves and sponsor in kind of brand sponsorships all that sort of malarkey it's the same old story again and again so that reaction on the grammys kind of surprised me because you know it's not something that we it's not a new it's not a new thing this this outrage it's all the same